I stretch my arms out wide as if to take my first uh, as I take my first steps off the bus. Fucking hell. My body is stiff after being seated for what feels like half the day, and various joint cracks joints crack in response to my movements. At the same time, I fill my lungs with fresh air after being trapped inside of a bus all day. The air outside has refreshing taste to it. Go to config in the bottom right. Hear what you say. Go to config, bottom right, sound volume, music volume. Oh. Damn amateurs. <laughs> right. That's what you are. You're a damn amateur. Do you read the at the same time? Well, I've already at the same time. I filled my lungs. Fit. I've done that. Yeah, right. I want the next one. Iris. Mmm. Cracks. Ouch. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. It's only been a few hours. Toughen up, Iris. With a loud crack of my neck, I finish limbering and hit up the road. Hit the road. I finish okay. limbering up and hit the road. I keep an eye out for any street signs that may help me to gather my bearings. While I have a rough idea of where I am, I've never been to the city before, nor am I travelling with anybody who might. I'm all alone in a brand new city, my home for at least the next year. Sigh. This is hopeless. I can't see anything helpful. Sigh. Maybe I should ask for help after all. As if on cue, my cell phone begins vibrate with an incoming call. It's Dad. After a few rings, I pick it up. His voice is cheerful and vibrant. <laughs> Iris, I thought it was about time for me to call. How is it? Do you like your new home? Did you have any troubles getting there? It's not too far from the the school, is it? Whoa, 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 whoa! Slow, dude! Da! I haven't even seen the place yet! I just got off the bus a minute again! Alright, mate! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I didn't mean like to go out of hand myself. Got to hurt myself. Like. My father laughs. Uh, heartily. <laughs> he speaks. <laughs> so, how's the read there? Uh, full of fun and excitement. Like, oh, I didn't ask. I don't know why, but the Geordie language just makes us fucking web out. <laughs> Do you know how much creeps catch the bus? Not to mention the stale air, like, uncomfortable seats, Christ. Worse, I can't even get it for just dozen. What? I couldn't even afford to doze off. Missing me stop would have just been the disaster to top off the moment's occasion. The momentous occasion. I can't fucking read. Wow. Someone's feeling a bit gloomy like in there. Suck it up, cunt. A little bus ride. <laughs> well, you can't say that word. Yeah, I can. We're playing this game. I'm pretty sure we can. Oh. Right. Can I be the... Can I be like every other character and you can be the main character? Because I'm getting like head to read. The main characters are pink hair. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, and what happened to the enthusiasm from this morning? You were particularly jumping for joy. Nothing of... The notion of moving out and attending school. You even changed into your uniform before leaving. You were prancing around like it were your first day of school. Uh, I was not. I just wanted to make sure it fit. Yet you're still wearing it now, aren't you? I look down at my body. <laughs> my, leg, my legs are clear to my knee socks up to my thighs. <laughs> they stop a couple of inches before reaching my short skirt, which I, make, I have mixed feelings about wearing. The long sleeve blazer I'm wearing is warm. 
and around my left breast is the school emblem. Below the blazer is a white shirt and decorated with the school emblem. I'm really lightheaded. Like, it's making us lightheaded to read this. I need to put my lights on before I fucking faint. Where are the fuck's my. Oh, there it is. Oh, there. Oh, a nice light red will hurt my head more. <coughs> Excellent. <laughs> Finally, the collar of my wrist. <laughs> my white shirt is held in place with a tie. Neat wrapping the whole outfit together. I'm actually gonna pass out. I'm lightheaded. I need to eat a biscuit. <laughs> Continue. It's your turn, you fuck. Oh, fuck. Um. I mean, precious daughter, I'm finally moving out of my own home. It feels like just yesterday that I would pop to. I mean, I was changing your diaper. Oh, I'd say nappy and I, like. Uh, anyway. I'm reading your bedtime stories, like. There's only ever a cat in the house, I couldn't afford much, and I can't read very well. Oh, right, nah. Are you really gonna be alright with this, like? Oh, please. <laughs> You speak a waiter quietly for anything, yeah. <laughs> Fuck off you. <laughs> I'm in stitches right now. <laughs> I'm not. I've got food in my mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I've been chewing this biscuit for like the past five minutes, trying not to choke on the fuck. I'm gonna fucking choke. There's already biscuit me fucking nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at me. Oh, you bastard, alright. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as one of us start, the other one fucking lights up. Oh, it's like setting fireworks off in a fucking fireworks store. <laughs> you fucking set one firecracker off and the whole fucking shop's can up. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> no. Make sure you eat properly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's not actually as funny, but you know. Make sure you eat properly and go to bed at the <laughs> time, okay? Yeah, mate! <laughs> 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 I smoked myself with my father's childish reaction. Although he is a good, responsible man, my father is not a serious person by nature. It's only when something big is going on that he likes, he seems to pull his act together. Okay, I can't do any more of her <laughs> at all. I cannot do any more of her. It's making his head. Well, you know, I won't keep up. I won't keep you any longer, like. Carlos, when you get uh, when you arrive at your new home, like, okay? I'll be ruined. See you then. Ah, uh, wait a second. Actually, there is one thing I like your help with. I fucked that up. I like your help with the goal. Right? Sean, I've been fucking up the entire script. Score up. Well, fucking hell, this fun. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, do your lane, do your lane, do your lane, do your lane, do your lane. <laughs> Take a look around and detail. I feel like for some reason, I feel like for some reason her internal monologue should be, like, someone you'd expect to play, I don't know, the, the like, Globetrotters. Oh. It's like, a really buff black man. Terry Crews, do a Terry Crews. Go on. <laughs> I don't know how to do a Terry Crews. <laughs> do watch a Terry Crews video real quick. Mm, sounds like you got off with the wrong stop too early, didn't you? Don't worry, love. You know school isn't far away. Just keep heading doing towards the heart of the city, right? And you'll find it in the time. Fucking hell, he's got a lot of lines. 
<laughs> and if you still can't find it, y'all dial track your phone's GPS. See now, don't want any boys coming around with you. And I'll give you the streets by street direction, right? How's that sound? Creepy beyond compare. Thanks for the help, though. I should be able to figure it out from here. Alright, right, date has to date to Carlos if you get lost again, right? I remember this one time when you went to the zoo and I found you. He just said beep. I just said beep. Yeah, beep. So you don't put out sigh. <laughs> Come on. I don't even know how to say <laughs> I hurriedly, which is not a word, by the way. It's not a word. That's why I was like, what the fuck is that? Okay. I quickly press the <laughs> call button. Because that's incorrect English. Honestly, saying you and me. <laughs> I put my phone away and start walking. We need a girl to voice people for women's. I'm sorry, but we just spent like half an hour just laughing. It was the first like minute of the gameplay as well, which is awesome. Following my father's direction, I soon find myself in front of the new high school. All right, I want to do internal monologues again. Oh, I took a bad choice <laughs> to do it. Um, Lilium High School. A prestigious school inhabited by primarily, uh, primarily uh, by the children of upper middle class families. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Inhabited. Yeah, I, I know. It's an odd choice of words. Thanks to my exemplary performance and uh, attitude, not to mention my participation participation in extracurricular extra extra activities, I was given the opportunity to apply for the school here, a uh, scholarship here. Scholarship. Shut up! I can't read. You know this. Not only was my application successful, but I am now the top student at Lilium High. Fuck's sake, I always choose the wrong time to choose the right one. My battle hasn't been has, hasn't ended yet. However, a scholarship student as a scholarship student, I must continue to excel. Let my scholarship op opportunity be revoked. I'm I'm just gonna say this now. I don't care. Furthermore, I will be living by myself from now on. And I don't know anybody in this city. This is my first steps towards adulthood, and as and as nervous as the whole situation makes me, I am without doubt excited. Boy. Screech! <laughs> <laughs> Pulling away from me, thought <laughs> I'm fucking slavered. Pulling away from my thoughts, I turn my head back to the sound of a bus coming to a halt. Reaches my ears. Hard oh, mama. <laughs> As the doors open, a single person steps off. It's a girl, carrying a large back on her back. Back on her bag on her back. Even from behind, her long black hair and pure white skin cut my eye. She exudes an unmistakable air of maturity despite appearing to be around my age. A cool beauty with an appeal I find in my eyes immediately drawn to her. But beyond her appearance, what I must, what I find most captive, captivating, is her demeanour. She takes confident strides, not at all unbalanced by the large bag on her that she is carrying. <clears throat> she seems she appears strong, yet her arms and legs are not muscular. Fuck say, why did I choose to be the narrator? Her fatigue, her figure is lean, and her back is straight. She pushes her chest out naturally, and I and walks her the excellent posture. I'm just saying, this is the main character speaking the entire time. Yep. My age or not, she is undoubtedly more mature and adult than I am. Oh, fuck's sake, how many lines this bitch got? As I, as I stare at, as I stare at her figure, my mouth agape, oh, I notice just how loudly my heart is beating. What's that? That can be misinterpreted. Uh, <laughs> the mere sight of this girl causes my body to malfunction. My throat is paralyzed. My face is hot and my heart is beating so quickly I fear I might burst. Yes. I'll be here. Yes. Help. That's eep. Same difference. <laughs> my heart jumps 
at the beautiful young woman addresses me. She stares straight into my eyes, exuding confidence and str strength that I, I could only dream of possessing. If you don't want anything, then... The young woman turns around and begins to walk off. Ah, no, no, please wait. Hmm? My body reacts before my brain is able to formulate a plan. I don't mean to call out the girl. Bef before I knew it, I'm unconsciously reaching forward. Um. Yeah? The girl raises her eyebrows and stunned bell burst. I think... <laughs> I think about what I can say and what I call, and when I, why I call out to this total stranger. Perhaps I could ask if she is also a student. Okay, you're reading the fucking monologues. Fuck this. As I mentally assessed my options, I became painfully aware of the girl's increasing annoyance. No, it's nothing. Sorry. Hmm. Without saying a word, <coughs> the young woman turned around <laughs> once again. <laughs> This time, more so I for you. I don't know where that book <laughs> Somebody wanted a beautiful thing. Rick from my side causes my chest to tighten. Oh. I've experienced before. <laughs> when she's gone, my chest slowly relaxes. And I'm able to breathe once more. I think what you experience is a nip on. <laughs> Why can you think too deeply about this unfeeling, unfamiliar feeling our meeting comes to an end. Just who was that girl? And no name dropping. I can't remember. Following a lengthy walk, mostly thanks to what is this music? To my unfamiliarity with the area, I finally arrive at my new home. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what the song sounds like. Uh, well, well, well. EastEnders. The intro sound like EastEnders. <laughs> I don't know why. It's an apartment in the city, not too far away from Stumble. It's got a fucking swanky apartment for a scholarship, like. Is that right? Most of the students at Lillian High use the student dorms. I like that. It seemed like you struggled with the high part. Missed <laughs> out. <laughs> Any vacancies this year? So far, this. <laughs> <laughs> See why I'm not rude now anymore. <laughs> so far, the time being, at least until a dorm room opens up, I will be living in an apartment rented by my father. Fucking father's rich, like I'm fucking loaded. Ah. ah, come to think of it, I pull my cell phone out once more and call my father. Hey, it's me again. Oh fuck, I've got biscuit in my mouth, guys, a minute. <laughs> oh no, where? Uh, um, I haven't got a drink, I'm fucking dry mouth right now. I don't know why, but it seems to be something like our dad would do to us. No doubt. <laughs> Hi, me again. It's your dad. <laughs> I'm hunging up. Hunging up. <laughs> ah, I don't. There you go. I sigh. <sighs> I'm going to be up to the phone once again. <laughs> anyway, I was just calling to say that I've arrived at the new apartment. Uh, it took you this long to get there. The fuck you, Dean. You really should excite. You really should exercise more. Like you're a bit mm. chubby now. You're not getting any boys. Boys. You're not getting any boys around here like that. I glare at the phone. <laughs> it actually hung up as well. I glare at the phone as I hang up. Honestly, why do I even bother? Because I'm your fucking jolly father. <laughs> Makes sense. I thought moving out would be being free of my father's nonsense. My phone begins to vibrate just mm -hmm. as I mm -hmm. sigh once more and answer the call. Dad, I've only just arrived. If you want to pest me, can't I wait until. I don't, I don't. There's something important I need to tell you. Don't go out after 9 pm? Nah, well, I. But something else. I was planning to tell you before you left, but you just look so cute, Babs. Dancing around in that new uniform that I. I want that. 
Ari, Ari. The thing is, right, you won't be living alone, right? I stare at my phone in surprise, completely baffled by the father you finished on. What do you mean I won't be living alone? Won't be living alone. You promised that you would trust me to take care of myself. Besides, you work too far away. You cannot seriously be thinking of staying with me. My father doesn't respond immediately. It's because he's got best in his mouth. I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that he's wearing the same expression that I was only moments ago. Un, right? I think you misunderstand something here, right? What I'm trying to say is... Thomas. You'll be sharing the apartment with another Lilium High student. Didn't even say his name. You went. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even realize his name. It's Iris. My eyes slowly open wider as my father's words sink in. I had anticipated a quiet life of solitude during my stay here. A life of school, studying, and not much else. That was the plan for me as well. The <laughs> same. <laughs> Having a housemate would undeniably change that. Another high school student? Sorry, I know you were looking forward to living alone, like. No, 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 that's okay. I'm just surprised. I don't actually think that having a housemate would be a bad thing. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. It'd be a difficult situation if you refused to live with like. Oh, sorry about having an impact on your studies. She always usually keeps herself to herself. Oh, we now know the name of the person who's moving in. He's away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so a girl called Zoe. With a Y. Will be living with me and attending the same school as I. I can work with that. Is there anything else I should know before we meet? Ah, she's a proper slut. I mean, oh, I was supposed to... There is one thing. I can hear the sound of my father <laughs> You see, you and Zoya <clears throat> already have a connection. I'm guessing that they're sisters. A connection? I think back over. I took fucking time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> The names of everyone I've been introduced to. I'm fairly certain I don't know anyone called Zoe with a Y. Yes, hello, <coughs> <coughs> biscuit. Hello, like you never met her. The two of you already share a close bond. Um, okay, I say sisters. So, what is the connection or bond or whatever? My father. Once again, to scratch his face. Iris, Zoe is a, how do I put it? She's, she's your little sis. Fucking hell, I get it. Yes, right. I was expecting a mother. <laughs> I did the while. In the same school, so. <laughs> sure. Anyway, I respond in a flat tone, half convinced that my father is just screwing with me. My... I guess I should explain. I've been cheating on your man. I've shagged a lot of birds, right? <laughs> Zoe has lived overseas for most of her life. You know, like, with her mother. So the two of you had never had the chance to meet. Which might be for the best now I think about it. So it could be a bit... My further trails off. Further? I show how to best and such a leading statement. Way. At any rate, a fresh start might just be what uh, each of you need. Okay, talk to you later. Lots of love. Bye 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 bye. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> The call ends before I can ask a single. What the fuck is this on my phone? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
sorry. <laughs> Someone at my foot. <laughs> Give me a second. It's a mouse! <laughs> There's a moose loose over the woods. <laughs> what he's doing right now is he's jacking off. No one believe him. It's not his foot. He's taking the sock off to put on his cock. He's a dirty bastard. He can't hear me because he's got his head off. I don't. I wasn't saying anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can't. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't say anything. Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> you trumpet. The call ends before can ask a single question. On the line. All I can hear is the sound of my own breathing. Oh, I've got a perfect voice for a sister. I fucking god. Sister? You've got to be kidding me. I lived my entire life thinking I'm being told that I was an only child. Furthermore, my father realized. Me Realized me alone. Leave me alone. <clears throat> I thought my mother. I grew up thinking my mother was dead. Or perhaps a deadbeat who ran out of her. Or a slut. Probably both. I'm <laughs> I mean, from Newcastle, probably the same thing. In reality, it appears that she was living overseas with a little sister I never knew I had. Unbelievable. Unbelievable! Wow! <laughs> I've had a little sister all this time and never knew that. Out of nowhere, we're going to be together. It's just too much. Follow me. <laughs> At the last minute, I was left in a state of shock. In a daze, I decided to take a quick look around the apartment. This is where I'll masturbate. This is where I'll take shit. <laughs> I look at the bathroom, <laughs> in the state of my belongings, and finally sit back and sit back and take it all in. <laughs> this is my new <laughs> an apartment rented by my father, but still. But before I can settle down and relax, there's another matter for my mind. Where is the best place to jack off? The other pieces of my father's news dropped on me at the last minute. The unplanned guest in my otherwise empty apartment. <clears throat> and little sister. My little sister. Make a little bit of Monica there. For the next 30 minutes, I paced back and forth. Over and over again. I passed by the box of my head city containing my belongings. I <clears throat> entered every room in the house one by one before returning to the kitchen. Of course I'd go back to the kitchen. Of course you, what are you fat for? <laughs> you biggest hits in the character? Fuck. How about you fuck? Read your fucking line. I repeat <laughs> the voice says up. <laughs> Trading bra. I repeat this voice. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was me. I was wait. <laughs> Or trying to reach a conclusion. <laughs> In reality, however, I have no clear goal. There is only a single thought on my mind. And no, and Pearson will not make it go away. It's my fault. Where the hell is she supposed to sleep? Well, they're going to share the same bed because they're going to be finger, fist, finger sisters. I mean, finger fists is a th similar thing, but. <laughs> I mean, yeah. As, uh... Yeah. As one might expect from the moment, <laughs> my father, non nonchalantly, nonchalantly. Thank you. I like that. I help with the big words. And you help with the small words. <laughs> oh, poor Spack has my own rug right. <laughs> Made his decoration. My thoughts belong to a single person. My little Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> I think you fucked up a word then. I read the book the same time. Oh, my little Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I just double clicked spacebar. Zoe. Oh, no. Where are you up to? I mean, instead, all I can think about. Though surprised after a while, I'm not actually disappointed. I am certainly not angry. Instead of all, I can think about his. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> 
what you sent me for for the training post. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you one. I'll buy you one on the get money. Get fucked. How about this? I'll send it to your regiment. <laughs> I'm the younger sibling. I always want. Don't send it on fucking my regiment. <laughs> They will search you a bit. What the fuck's the training for? Oh, God, oh yeah, I'll have a photo of me and you in it. <laughs> One in each cup. <laughs> and they'll just be Sean in the panties. Maybe. Maybe I should lay down for a bit. Check off. I need to rest. Contrarily to the Con vice. Contrary. Contra How can you read what I'm seeing? Contrary to my advice. <laughs> I often. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. little sister, one who, with whom I will soon spend every day. He's just too much to keep bottled up inside. Oh, God. Well, that's more. Like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> yeah. It's like a fucking sister. dolphin. Ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, my little sister. I might be going to imagine what she looked like and what we could do with one another. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> we will cook together. No, it's cook. I deliver you, you didn't can You didn't cook. You, you don't cook, you cook. All right, we will cock together. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Walk together. Let's whack <laughs> together, mate. We whack this girl together. No, we'll whack the school together. Just like we did. I'm pushing you in traffic. You're a dick for that. We, we we Hello Will she will she need my help with her schoolwork? I definitely going to be a reliable older sister. I make certain that she knows I I can be counted. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. How old is Zoe? For why? My father said she was younger than me, but he didn't exactly say. Ding no. My excited <clears throat> Get my voice ready. pacing comes through a halt as I hear the sound of the door. Housekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. I clean. <laughs> oh my God. No, he's Consuela. <laughs> I'm not he's not Zoe. He's Consuela. <laughs> and Zoe is the only roommate I want. <laughs> In my mind, I'm losing, I'm losing it. That one thing in <laughs> No, 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 he's okay. So he clean. The one ring at my door can only be a single person. I ready myself to go give her the best treating I can. There's just some fucking like rapist at the door of the knife. So we were fine, huh? I rushed to the front. Why do you keep saying that? Because it just. It's funny. I rushed to the front door and threw it open without pause or hesitation. The moment I do, <laughs> I see a familiar face staring back at me blankly. <laughs> Sorry for why? That's my name. Yeah, I was right. Aye, that's right. <laughs> I shrink back and lower my voice. In front of me is. Th Beautiful young woman whom I met earlier today. The cute, beautiful woman I thought to be the my age. Is that all though? My little city, so we were for why. Cool, sir. Like, I got the right place. So we for why, Pasha's. Pasha's post me. <laughs> <laughs> Pasha's pushed me. <laughs> Without another word. I'm not even dropping that. I'm not even going to leave that. She drops her large bag on the floor and places her hands on her lower back, stretching after carrying it around for so long. <laughs> I know that is. <laughs> it's just us here. Eh? Oh, oh, yeah, um, yes. It's just us. Awesome. Lock the door, will you? I want to take a look at my room. Uh, uh, oh. Zoe, with a Y, 
opens her bag and takes out a change of clothes. She takes them. Sorry. She then takes a quick look around. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I'm going to bring this forward. <laughs> Searching for the bitch. I do have my own room, right? Oh. Uh, oh, I didn't expect that. That threw us off. <laughs> Oi, I'm talking to you. Do you have a room or not? I looked down at my feet as I braced myself. So I, I hit them. I hit it on the money, didn't I? Well, no, I kind of guess. I think we all kind of guessed this. But I didn't actually. I just, I just went. Hurry up, read your lane. I've spent the past half hour thinking about this moment, wondering what I would do, what I would say. Now all I can think of is fucking her. <laughs> it's down the hall on the right. Zoe with a Y doesn't give a response. Sheen Instead with an E. <laughs> Instead picking up her bag once more. Before Zoe with a Y can end our first meeting as sisters, I force myself to speak. Zoe with a Y, did you... Um, hmm? Do you want to go get smoothies together? Huh! Where did that come from? I I just uh. Look, I didn't know what our father said. What our father told you, but I'm just here to get to eat, sleep, got it. So make yourself useful and unpack or something. I'll find me bedroom myself. Zoe Y heads down the hallway and checks a few rooms. She soon finds her room and enters, closing the door behind her. Even after Zoe for Y has left my sights, I continue to look towards the bedroom. <sighs> Smoothies, what the hell? Standing in the hallway, I continue to reply. Replay that unbelievable awkward exchange in my head. What just happened? What just this? happened? My girl from the park. That was Zoe for Y. Thought she was at school, not the park. Whose existence I only just learned about <laughs> pushed straight past me without an indication whatsoever that she saw that she even wanted to know me. Furthermore, um, Zoe is younger than me, and yet, uh, <laughs> yet she's so tall and looks so mature of her age. In any way, in, in a way, it almost feels like the one who should be her little sister. So Suffice to say, this definitely not. This you is definitely this. not <laughs> not how I pictured my oh first God. day of inde independence. Shit! Shit. Oh. I just, I just, I'm up to so before Zoe can end uh, first. I meeting. feel so weird Wait, just Wait, leaning. Man, Thomas, you hit how skip. Did, how? No, I went back. How, you went back? I don't know how I did it. I went. I'm back to the scene where so before Zoe for why can end our first. I want to keep reading while you catch up. I Wait, feel so weird just leaving our first encounter off on that note. What should I do? Try again. Give her some space. Uh... Should we take different options? Right. I'm I want to go again. get. I want to go try again. Oh, I want to try again. Do we right. go for the same one or do we go for different? I feel I like think the, should... I think we're like we should do multiple players, and we'll do the yeah. same one. So we'll do try again. try again. I can't just leave it on that weird note. I gotta do Zoe's Sorry. door. You're not reading this anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. From outside, I can't hear the sound or anything moving, so I give the door a timid knock. Oh, the sound effects. <laughs> Sorry, no man. response. I'm, I'm Maybe me. she didn't hear the the first time I knocked the door again. This time more firmly. That didn't sound any more firmly. No, it didn't. Still no response. But she must be in there. She can already be napping, can she? I should check on her just to make sure she's all right. Hey, is that for why? Silence. This is getting weird. 
What could have happened? I have a responsibility to make sure she's all right. Okay, right? Oh no, this I is... Con I cautiously <laughs> turn the knob and slowly push open the door. <laughs> That's a very mature room. Um, is that room with a Y? Iris is an I? Is that E? <laughs> I open the door and see Zoe sitting up in her bed. Maybe try and knock in next time, yeah? I'm sorry. I actually did try knocking, but you didn't respond. Oh, huh. I had my headphones on, so I guess I didn't hear you. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, that's a long <laughs> night. <laughs> oh, Christ. so that's it. Sorry. I got worried when I knocked and you didn't respond, so I thought I'd just peek through the door to make sure you were okay. I didn't mean to invade your privacy. I've been anyway, what do you 